up? Welcome to the 13th episode of the Go Do Techie Show. I'm your host, Isaac Swenson. As you can see, I'm wearing a little bit uh, more flowery shirt here because um, I'm in San Diego and I felt like wearing it, so yeah. Um, first off, to get things started, uh, you can email this show at the go to techie at gmail.com if you have any tech questions, or you can leave a video or a comment uh, question below this video if you're watching on YouTube. Alright, so uh, first off, uh, as I promised from last week, I'm going to have a review of the Magic Mouse just released from Apple. So I'll roll that right now. Alright, so we got the Magic Mouse here from Apple. As you can see, it is pretty thin. Um, we're going to go to the mouse setting. Um, we're gonna, okay, so it's uh, it just found Apple Wireless Mouse. Alright, so we're going to continue. All right, it has connected, so we got it working now. So we're gonna we can adjust right here the tracking speed. I'm gonna put a little higher um, uh, scrolling speed. I'm gonna bring that up a little bit. Um, we're gonna enable the secondary click. You can do that right here. Um, you can do scroll with momentum or without momentum. Um, there's options for uh, doing zoom on the screen. Not going to change those right now. Of course, it has two finger swipes to uh, to uh, navigate. All right, so we're gonna get all this, and we're gonna we're right at the Apple homepage right now. So, yep, it works. We're gonna try. Let's see. So right now, I'm just. Um, running my finger up and down the mouse and you can see the scrolling effect right there and I have the scroll with momentum on so it'll keep going even though I take my finger off um, let's see that so then it has the two finger swipes so you can just go like this and swipe forward or swipe backward with the mouse so yeah all in all um, Looks like a great buy for uh, 69 bucks. Um, it's a huge improvement over the Mighty Mouse before, and uh, I'm gonna spend a little time playing around with it. But uh, from my first impressions of it, I like it a lot, and I might consider one picking one up. All right, next uh, we're gonna talk about Modern Warfare 2, which was just released. Um, uh, my roommates actually picked it up, and I've been kind of playing it. Um, I beat it yesterday. Um, it's, uh, the graphics are, uh, the graphic graphics are so pretty, I mean, the, they were good in Modern Warfare 1, but they're much prettier in this game, and, uh, especially if you play it on HD, it looks amazing, um, it wants to, you know, I don't really have, I just have, like, a little TV in my dorm, but I wanna, it makes me wanna play it on a big-ass HD TV, cause I know it looks so good in, uh, full 1080p graphics but uh, I don't have that here right now so but uh, yeah the graphics are amazing um, the in-game in -game chatter is a lot more realistic um, so like for instance say you're walking down a road or in, in a building or something and one of you guys would scream out like uh, guys at like 12 o'clock and you look right ahead of you and there's guys or guys at 3 o'clock or 6 o'clock whatever so basically the in-game chatter what the other players around you are saying it actually makes sense and you can actually like refer to it and like see oh there's a guy over there or there's a bogey or something so yeah I was uh, pretty blown away by that um, next they, uh, the special ops uh, that they added was pretty cool I've been playing it with my roommate we uh, did some pretty cool missions together um, it uh, promotes a lot of teamwork and stuff. Um, I mean, if you don't talk, I mean, you'll never be able to do the missions. So yeah, I like that a lot. Um, the online play is everything that Modern Warfare 1 was, but they added a lot more achievements and awards, and a lot of more cool stuff that keep uh, makes you want to keep playing. And um, I uh, really like the the um, stuff, the online play from Modern Warfare 1, and I enjoyed this one even more. So yeah, definitely, uh, you know, Call of Duty, one of their big things is the online play, so they have definitely uh, expanded what they did with Modern Warfare 1 and made it a whole lot better. 
Um, the only thing, the only little problem I had with it, the the storyline was a little uh, was short. It was kind of confusing. I couldn't really follow it. I mean, I I got the gist of what's going on, but I mean, there wasn't a very deep storyline, and it was a little hard to follow for me. Um, but I guess too, I was thinking about it, and uh, I guess their aim wasn't to create, you know, this great, you know, epic story about, you know, that you really connected with the character and everything. That wasn't their aim at all. I don't think so. Um, I guess the only other thing, you know, I wish they would have had a few more missions, but, you know, they, the ones they had were amazing. And the ending was epic. Just let me see. Yeah, the ending was amazing. I'm not going to spoil it for you, but... If you have a chance, go pick it up and play it, and the ending will make you so happy. It's it's so satisfying. Just, I'll put it that way. All right, so yeah, pretty much the bottom line with Modern Warfare 2 is it's an amazing game. If you have the cash and you have an Xbox or a PS3, go out and buy it. It's also on PC. So yeah, if you go out and buy it. If you got the money, it's a great game, and you'll be very impressed by the graphics and the online play. Alright, the next thing I'm going to talk about, um, which I kind of brought up earlier, is uh, now is uh, playing your Xbox without a TV. So now you're probably thinking, well, you have to have a TV. Well, actually not. Um, there's a couple ways you can do this now. Um, the Xbox, they have an HDMI output and they also have like the regular output that, that, that hooks up to the TV. So there's two things you can do. Um, you can either, uh, well the thing that you need to do is buy like a computer monitor. Um, so there's two kinds, you could get, you get, you could get an HD monitor um, like this uh, Acer X233H uh, BID Black, it's a 23 inch one, five millisecond response time. And it has uh, HDMI inputs and full 1080p widescreen. Um, so yeah, you can get you could get something like that, and then you get the HDMI cord plugged from your Xbox into the monitor, and you've got 1080p gloriousness from your Xbox. Also, you get a standard definition monitor, and you can get a cord like this. You just buy it on Amazon, and you connect it from the um, Xbox and then it just uh, plugs into your monitor and you got the, uh, you got it on the monitor, it's not HD but you know if you got an extra computer monitor laying around um, and you don't want to buy a new TV or something like that it's a much less expensive route um, to go as far as that um, and you'll still be able to play you know Xbox you'll still be able to get really good sound and the only thing is that the screen's going to be a little smaller. Um, the TVs, you know, they're obviously a little bigger, but the screen will be smaller, and um, but you can still get 1080p video. So if uh, if you want to do that, it's a lot less expensive, and you'll uh, be very happy with it. I did it back home, and it worked great. So yeah. Next week, I'm talking about some uh, really cool sp speakers I picked up. Be sure to check out my promotional offers. They're all on my website, www.thegototechie.com. If you want to save some money on GoDaddy and web domains, you can use my code GTT6 and get $5 off any order of $30 or more that is not already discounted. And uh, you get some free music with eMusic. Um, just go to my website and uh, click on my uh, um, page and you get a uh, 40 day free trial and 35 songs free. So if you want to get some free music you can do that with eMusic and um, that's about it for the show. If you want to email me, if you have any tech questions hook me up at the go to techie at gmail.com or leave a text or video response below this video and I will be happy to answer your tech questions. Alright, I hope you enjoyed show number 13. I'm your host, Ali Clemson, and that concludes this show.